Now, I'm sure Paul's art students will want to know what the judges think of the oil on canvas painting he submitted called Park Road 2. Hello, Paul. Hello. Please tell us about your painting. This painting is a part of a series of suburban night scenes. Uh, this particular scene is of a local library. They always seem to have a light on, which I felt that um, created this sort of cinematic sense of uh, suspense and mystery. And could you tell us how much you value this work at? Um, I valued this um, painting at £800. Let's take a closer look. Will the judges get the moody feeling Paul's after? He's been ploughing all his money into the art school he founded. So, if he sells, buying some art for himself would be a welcome treat. That picture looks like an oil sketch. Do you do larger paintings than that, hmm. which are more finished? Um, with regards to my lifestyle with um, other commitments, um, I had to uh, make a decision really to work in a smaller uh, way for a few years. I'm quite happy for it to be an oil sketch and to present it as a, a completed painting in this, this state. Maybe if we think about um, Constable's oil, oil sketches, they're much more elevated in the way that people appreciate them. When you're working in that kind of dark, this is, this is the suburbs at night style, we need detail and there simply isn't enough detail, it seems to me, in the paint. I actually thought it was badly painted. I didn't... The detail for me is, um, is the small area in the centre of where the tree cuts through the window. And, and my intention was, was to draw people to that and to, uh, to make people uh, inquisitive about what's going on in that window. I'm drawn to that bit on the left. I really love the way you yeah. painted yeah. that. I, I, think, I think you're wrong. It's too imprecise to, to give us any, any hint of of what's afoot. But isn't this the point, in a way, that it's more about an atmosphere rather than a place? That actually the fact we can't make out where it is and what it is gives it that sort of uneasy edge that we're not quite sure what we're looking at. Um, Paul, for me, this has a warmth and an easiness. I love sketchiness about it. It works as a very, very simple, pleasant piece of work for me. Thank you. Thank you David. Very much. Your technique is is not what it should be for this particular kind of statement. It's probably cruel, but I think Constable be turning in his grave at the thought that that was influenced by his sketches because his are beautifully precise. So, Paul, it is crunch time. I'm going to go to David first for his vote. No. Roy. Paul, it's a painterly little sketch with emotion. So, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Decision time. Is a yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You very Thank you very much. Thank you. Paul's through to the exhibition, and he can hold his head up high in front of those students, and he may even be able to afford a bit of art for himself. Mal Galleries London and Paul's atmospheric landscape proved to be quite a draw. It's the mystery that attracted me to it. I have no idea of what it's about. I haven't even looked at the title yet, but it's the one that made me at least cross the room to have a look at it. And Paul got the chance to catch up with a familiar face. It's been nice chatting to the judges again. It's been nice seeing people who are interested in the painting and talking about the painting. So I feel it's a real celebration of, um, of the journey we've been on. So, the all-important question, would any of the crowd be prepared to part with cash and take Paul's moody landscape home? So, just remind me, how much did you want for this? It was called uh, The Little Painting, wasn't it? Well, lots of people started referring to it as The Little Painting, <laughs> <laughs> which is quite nice. Yeah, so how much did you want? Uh, £800 is my guide price. And what were you going to do with the money? Um, I tend to, um, if I sell art, I'd like to buy, like to buy art, that's my treat. Um, so if I sell it, um, I'll put the money aside and um, when something catches my eye, I'll probably buy it. The answer is in yeah. this envelope. Do you think you got any offers? I have no idea. I can tell you that you got two oh. offers. Well, that's really good news. Two offers? Yeah. OK. 
I'm going to give you the lowest one okay. first. And that was for £500. Okay. But I can see you no. not interested <laughs> in that. OK, we had another offer, the highest offer mm -hmm. on the night. And that was for £900. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? I'm so pleased. Big round of applause. Thanks very much, Chris. Thank you. Thanks very much. Well, that was a brilliant result for Paul and his little painting. He accepted the higher offer of £900, which less the 10% sales commission he'll pay to the agent, still made him more than his guide price. Well, that's it from us from the Mal Galleries, but join us next time on Show Me the Money, where the judges will be meeting more artists in search for success.